Welcome. Sorry. Open my coffee drink. <laughs> Welcome. This is the energy vibration for the Leo Sun, Moon, and Rise. And I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. I want to say to each and every person, I was um, happy because this week is the week of Valentine's. I'm always happy. Thank you for your support, your likes and shares, and please thumbs up, like, and share these videos. Okay. Um, to all the wonderful people um, out there, I want to thank you for supporting my channel. This week begins from the 12 until the 18, and it carries the energy vibration of uh, um, um, the moon, the energy of the moon, and the zodiac energy of the hair. Please listen to your sun, moon, and rising sign. Okay, let's see what you, Leos, have in this week. You have the three of pentacles on Monday. This is wonderful. This is positive. You, Leos, are working together to make something happen in your life. This is going to be a positive week. Then you have the energy of the princess of cups. So, you, Leos, who are connected with the water sign people on Tuesday it can be in work but it can also in love Wednesday happy Valentine's Day you need to look at yourself what's happening you Leo's this is another water sign energy there's something that is happening and you need to look in yourself you need to find inner wisdom and guidance so let's see what's happening on Thursday you have the energy of the <laughs> The princess of pentacles whoa 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 you Leo's lovers okay you Leo's like to have multiple partners and this is happening because it's Valentine's Day so um, what I'm seeing is that some of you Leo's are going to uh, you know go out with the um, the princess of um, cups which is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion on um, Tuesday and on where, uh, Thursday, you're going to go out with the Princess of Pentacles. Don't let the Princess of Pentacles know about the Princess of Cups because it's not going to be nice. <laughs> Let's see what's happening on Friday. The energy of the lovers. <laughs> so, you Leos. Okay. So it can be um, this week is a masculine and feminine week, so it's it's going to be you, ladies and gentlemen out there, that is having multiple partners. Ooh, it's a week of the lovers. You guys are the first one to have the energy of the lovers. Then you have the Queen of Cups. So the wife is a Queen of Cups for some of you men or women out there, and the the lovers or the um, Pentacles and the Cup sign. So wife so that is why you didn't go out with your with um, the ladies on the side and on Valentine's Day you're going to go out with a wife that's good the energy of the Sun okay this is a profound reading okay you Leo's it is the week of Valentine's and trust me you bring in the energy of the lovers there is a new start and a new beginning for you Leo's so wow in work it's going to be a new start and a new beginnings for you leos um it's going to be wonderful it's going to be positive in the work arena a wonderful new um surprising energy good relationships good work atmosphere new beginning at work is going to be happening for you positive new wonderful energies are going to be happening so this is going to be wonderful so in love there's a new beginning in work especially in work um uh, if you're setting up your business it's going to be a very very wonderful very very positive okay so for you Leo's it's going to be good so let's look at the first beginning of the week the first beginning of the week is the energy of the lovers with the princess of cups the princess of cups is someone 25 years and older and she is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion there is a connection with this woman you are connected with this woman there is a, um, a positive connection with this person whoever this person is you're working together some of you see this person as the love of your life some some of you see this person as someone you want to share your life with a new beginning is going to happen between you and this person 
and there is the energy of the two of Pentacles so you're balancing out your materialistic needs and your emotional needs with this person which is good so some of you have started new relationship with um, the Pisces a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion and you're trying to balance out your emotional and materialistic and it's gonna work because it's a new beginning for you guys it's gonna be wonderful for some of you you're connecting um, with work and projects with this um, person this energy of this water sign whether it's a man or a woman you're and and it's gonna be very good it's gonna be powerful um, what I'm receiving for some people is that this um, princess of cups is the soulmate is your soulmate which is very strange because normally um, water and fire normally it's the Capricorn and the waters and the fire um, so um, this is really spectacular but it is a soulmate relationship that is coming in and it's going to be new for a lot of you Leah's so um, these are people that you already know then we have the princess of cups the queen of cups and you have to look at yourself so okay for this um, in the middle of the week it is going to be the energy of the men who are married to someone who is over the age of 40 and is a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion this relationship um, you're having an outside relationship with the princess of cups and you have to understand what is on this what what is happening for you because this energy of the princess of cups is a wonderful energy but yet still um, it is the princess of wands which is you know and this is a situation that is happening for a lot of you out there um, there are multiple partners multiple situation that is happening and this is what I'm saying to people because I'm seeing this multiple situation where the relationship comes up because it's Valentine's week and if you have, are having relationship with two people it is happening for a lot of people because I see the princess of um, the princess of ones is also here which is your energy so this is for people zero um, age group in a zero and yeah you're gonna say yeah a baby can't have a relationship so let's look at 18 towards 25 and this situation can be transparent in a lot of way for a lot of people because there's a lot of messages that is coming off this if you're a man and you have you're married to a, um, a fire sign or a water sign person and you're having an extra marital mar um, affair it's going to come out in this week for the ladies um, some of you who are um, marry um, and have kids uh, some of you who have kids that is a Pisces cancer a scorpion or a Leo um, Aries or Sagittarius there is a situation that is transpiring your kids is about to surprise you for Valentine's and this is going to be very good okay so if you have a kid that is a water sign or a kid that is a fire sign they're going to be planning to surprise you for your birthday okay some of you um, young ladies out there the ages of 25 to um, age of 18 to 25 you are going to have a situation with the Queen of Cups whoever this Queen of Cups is um, and understand this whoever this Queen of Cups is if you're having a relationship with her husband she's going to find out about this okay so be aware ending of the week the energy of the Sun is here which is finishing off the week this is going to be wonderful and for the men or women out there that is having a relationship with the princess of pentacles it's going to be wonderful so um this is this is wonderful it's going to be a wonderful relationship is it going to be it's going to be a very successful relationship if there has been someone that you're seeing and you're seeing this person um uh, at the end of the week uh, um, it can be in the weekend that you're seeing this person this is the relationship a relationship a new beginning to a relationship that is going to last a very long time um, let's see what is happening to that because it's yes it is so the energy of the seven of Pentacles why is it and it's always coming up at the end of the week whatever reason whatever is happening at the end of the week and this is always um, 
seven is always that you're on the good part but the, the energy of the Pentacles is always about the materialistic world but here is a week of love and what this is saying is that a lot of you people who are connected to the princess of Pentacles if you're doing business with this person it's going to be a very successful business you're planting something that is going to a lot of you are connected with this princess of Pentacles via your work and um, this woman is really a businesswoman. This woman is can make things happen for you. So whether it's a business or love, it's going to be a very successful relationship. Whether in business, love, or um, at work, your reading is really coming out to, to be one of you know one of the best readings in this week. As we look further, let's see what is happening between you, um, whoever is working. Oh my god, there's a double woman, the number three. So, what this is saying, this double woman, what this is saying is that what this is saying, whenever the double woman comes out, what this is saying is that focus on the number three in this week. The number three, you begin the week with number three, and it's coming up again. The double woman. And it's right over each energy. So Monday is Monday and Tuesday is going to be a perform um, time for you guys in love. Monday and Tuesday, because some of you are going to have to decide who are you going to see, which person you're taking out for Valentine's, which person you're seeing after Valentine's, and this sort of a thing. Okay. So um, this is wonderful because the double whammies are really um, on top of each other which is just so powerful so wonderful so there is a lot of working together with people to try to bring um, um, positive energy forward and this is going to be good then you have a little bit of hardship with and especially the ladies between the ages of 18 there's going to be you know feel it out in the cold no relationships no valentine's and that sort of a thing love yourself hey love yourself not to worry about this love yourself okay so you ladies between the ages of 18 and 25 who has no relationship hey it's just valentine's day it's just one day learn to love yourself and then we have the energy of um the king of sword the king of swords the king of swords is someone over the ages of 40 and is an um an aquarius a gemini or a libra um somebody over uh, this man is going to be connecting with some of you okay so this is good this is going to be a good business partner um this is going to be someone uh, at work you're going to be connecting with this person at work but it's going to be a good business partner however way you look at it it's going to be really really a good business partner this is going to be someone they're coming to you with communication they're going to offer you a position and you know take the position because it's going to be good the energies with the lovers and the queen of cups some of you are going to take a break from the queen of cups some of you are going to the energy of the lovers and the queen of cups is that if you're um, married to someone who's a Pisces cancer or a um, or a scorpion you're gonna you know like take a little break from this person um, obviously it is your soulmate you know that nothing can break you two ups but you're gonna you know take a break and you're going to more focus on the younger women and this is what I'm seeing and I'm sorry ladies out there um, but um, whoever is married to the water sign people is as if you know that they're your soulmate and you know for the people who are having extra marital affairs out there this is and I have to do a video about this is Valentine so I really really have to do a video about this so what is happening what is transpiring is that um, you are seeing this coming out in the week of love last energy wheel of fortune very good so for you Leo's oh my god you Leo's always have just wonderful positive readings because what is happening for you Leo's is that you have the energy of um, the the um, air the hermit the hermit is you looking for inner wisdom and guidance how to deal with a situation especially for the people who are having multi um, relationship multi partners and that sort of a thing and here is the situation because um, some of you are connected or 
um, the, the the queen of cups which is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion is your soulmate and this is really a soulmate this is really a soulmate relationship because the lovers is lined up with this person and the wheel of fortune and the Sun so it is your soulmate and what is transpiring here and what is happening is that you know you're not worried because you know that this person is the love of your life and you know this person is the person that came in for you and you guys are going to be happy um, with this person because you're going to realize that your life is about to start in a wonderful way and some of you have this person in your life for a very long time and you're going to realize that this is the love of my life so you know all these little girls and young girls that are or young men who are out there it's that's it but I know who is my partner I know the one who is for me so this is actually good for in business in business this is going to be a wonderful wonderful week and in love and relationship you have nothing to worry about because your worries is now in the reverse form okay um, the energy of your worries is now in the reverse form and this is good because there is a new start and a new beginning as that is coming up for you and your worries and you know whatever you were worried about your thoughts whether relationship love um, who are you where are you in your life it's as if this week is going to be coming out and giving you and showing you new possibilities of things that is basically going to be happening for you so I'm seeing a lot of you uh, who are having relationships with multiple partners and that sort of a thing um, you know for the ones who are married you're really committed to your marriage you know this is a person this is a karmic relationship that came back you know who is this person but yet still you're having these young people around you um, and it's it's you know you're all there but you know my wife is very important so this you know your, your wife is your, the love of your life so um, you have nothing to worry about you know these are just people that you have fun with and that's about it so let's move forward and see what is happening um, this is the energy of the alignment and activation of divine feminine I love this card because I am one of those really feminine women I am so happy that I was born um, a woman I am one of those people that never ever think and thought I wanted to be a man the energy of the feminine um, energy is coming in um, between now and 20 um, between now and 2032 the divine feminine energy is going to react on this planet the frequency of the divine feminine energy supports our reception of nourishing and the softer side of who we are allowing it to express itself openly and helping us to connect to our instinctively ironically understanding of our connection to all of creation and this is going to be very wonderful very positive very good um, it's going to be very good because this is what the um, the hurt wants to bring back the feminine energy I want you to come back to this read it and focus on it because it's going to um, awaken your divine femininity within you the men it's for everyone because everyone carries the masculine and feminine energy within you some men have more of a feminine energy and we need to respect them for this okay I do not think that we should discriminate against a man who has extra feminine energy um, it is for a reason we are all here to learn certain lessons in our life as we move forward and we're looking at the message that I'm going to bring forward from me to you guys is instead of praying for an outcome I pray for the highest good for all okay so if there is a situation in your praying for a good outcome you need to change that and say I pray for the highest good for all so this is a situation that is going to be happening and it's going to be good because business a business and work um, it's going to be good money is going to be coming in for you guys um, most of you are going to be um, 
balancing out your masculine and feminine side but yet still balancing out your materialistic and um, your emotional side a lot of nice wonderful energies are coming in this is positive this is good and instead of praying for a good outcome just ask for a positive outcome okay the good for everyone and this is going to happen ladies and gentlemen this has been a wonderful wonderful reading it's the week of Valentine's I love you guys so much um, please like and share these videos listen to your son moon and rising sign and a Valentine's message is going to come out open up yourself to the energy of that message I love you all namaste until next time